guys, this is Fee, Diamond in the Rough, and you are not looking at a diamond painting. Today is the day that I put Girl by Carousel on a canvas, although it's not a canvas. I went to searching for a canvas that was big enough so that I could try and roll the edges. Not going to happen. Girl by Carousel is 100 by 67. This frame that I found, and I will show you a bit more to it, but it is, the picture inside is approximately 97 high, or wide for me it will be, and 68. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of adjusting, but let's have a look at this. So this I got from Spotlight, $60, although I did get it 30% off. Uh, you guys can work the math on that. If you actually look, you can see the gap there. Um, what happens is I'm going to pop this out somehow and put Girl by Carousel underneath. And I just think that I've got those camera settings just slightly wrong. Hang on a second. No, oh, no. Nope. No, I've got the camera settings right. Bugger. Okay. So first things first is we're going to take the plastic off of this, which is probably going to be the easiest part, I hope, of all of it. Okay. Yes, it is a pretty picture. Sorry, guys. Not keeping it, though. Well, it will be... If it goes as I expect it will go, it will be sitting underneath. So I'm just taking plastic off and protective corners. You might see a couple of stages where what I'm doing changes. Um, it could be because I finally done something and I need to fix it up. Sorry. Okay, so. What I'm going to do now, so as you can now see, I'll bring it up in the corner, gosh, you can see the gap there. What I've got to try and do is work out how to pop this frame. And I think that two choices of popping the frame. which I don't think I'm going to be able to do. I'm just trying to look at it. It's not going to pop. So, it's not going to pop. Bugger. This one's not going to pop off. Just, just going to have a look here. I think it might be glued. And goes by the wire side. Wire side. Um, I'm just going to go get get girl by carousel. Okay, guys, you're missing this little exciting bit. What I've just done. Um, initially, I've ripped the picture off, most of it. What I'm now doing is the good old mallet. I'm banging.
so I've got that off and what you can see now is I don't have to change the backing on that but so now what I've got is um, I've got exposed nails which I need to sort out you can see the nails there but I now have a place Ooh, I've, got nails out. I've now got a place for girl by carousel and hang on a sec Right, what I've just had to do is, I've just gone and got my little, you don't need those clothes because I have, if you see here, I still have little tiny nails sticking in. So it's just a case of pulling them up and just getting them out. Okay, so, whoop, one more. And uh, I'll just put those straight in the rubbish bin. Right, now I can turn this over. And you're only seeing, oh, you're not seeing all of the, um, obviously not all of it's fitting in. And what I'm trying, I just want to make sure this picture is off because, um, well, let's put it this way. It's easier to stick to this surface than this shiny surface. Okay, and let's get that little bit off, if I can. Yes, just a kitchen paring knife is what I'm using there. <laughs> okay. So the question is, what do I do in relation to how this goes on? So, Girl by Carousel, if I look at her, she is, hang on, okay, now what we've got is these ends actually are too big, so I have two choices, one is to roll over which was my initial plan so roll it over like that or is to cut it um, once it's glued and it's cut it's okay um, and because it's going to sit on top I actually do need to cut it to size but first things first the bottom top and bottom however <clears throat> that is there is going to be too much that so what I need to do is actually put a layer of paint on these edges um, I'm going to do black um, and see how that looks sorry I've got <laughs> bits of stuff stuck on these very edge glue there's always a little bit of glue even on poured um, so I'm going to get to and do that and I'll speed that process up and get back to you on that but I'll just show you so by putting this on top you'll actually see and I'm going to have to wiggle the camera around um, three I'm going to have to make it two okay so just hope you don't get seasick here you can see here what I've got is a gap of two well two and a half well you can't really see it but on this end I can't show you it's about a gap of two and a half once I get this lined up evenly I have about half an inch gap so what I'm going to do is, <clears throat> first things first, I will cut the top section off and, <clears throat> sorry, it, the easiest way to go is cut the top section off and then I can work out from the top and the bottom which way I'm going to go 
and then I'll work on the sides. <coughs> so um, bear with me while I go and cut this. So the top is being cut. The difference just that makes in itself. Wow, okay. The top is now being cut. Hang on, my easel is about to fall. <clears throat> so if I actually line up that top, and bring this okay lining up the top I see how I end up with this gap here I have two options I can put black on the top and back on the bottom or I can put the top right to the top and just paint black on the bottom the reason why is because the bottom section is dark which is why I'm looking at putting the black on the bottom but I'll cut the bottom section out now. And whoever it was, to the ladies, I think I got a couple of people suggested using one of these. Thank you. <laughs> oh, life is easier. Because that'll go on the back. Put that on the back of that canvas. Right. Okay, so I'm just going to slide this underneath. So what we end up with, line that up with the top. What we end up with at the bottom is a gap like that. Do I go with that? Or should I put a small gap like that and do the small gap at the top? Never know which is the right way to go when you do this. I think I'm just going to paint the bottom black. So bear with me while I paint the bottom black. black is actually going to look good the question is if I turn this around and we have a look if I put a thin layer of black at the top of this I need to know will it look good I actually do think it will so what I'm going to do now I actually do believe that'll look good okay so that solved my problem Visually, I got it. Hello. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to paint the edges as well because I might cut that cut these in by three and then I might get that little bit of an edge there obviously all of this is just play it by ear with me okay guys what do you think of this angle Ta -da! bit better now you can actually see how big my desk is. <laughs> and 
and there's still more that goes that way. Okay. Oh yeah. I don't know if I saw my bum there or not, but anyway. Here we go. So the plan is top and bottom. Now you can actually see, although you can't see it on the bottom, the black on the bottom, you can see it on the top. So I'm just wondering, should I just Maybe I should just do it that way. So this is all play it by ear. This is all, how do I feel? How do I think this is going to look? And that's what a lot of this is about, is with framing. You get there and you go, how should I frame it? And everybody has their own personal opinion. But the way this is getting framed, this will end up in this frame here that's going to look stunning I really do like that ignore that that's just the cat caught on the back but yeah that's going to look absolutely gorgeous when it's done uh, now the next thing is I need to cut how much off either end I was looking three three um I'm actually looking at possibly four. I think I'm going to have to cut four off either end. And with that on there, with possibly one gap, you can see how I've just got that little bit of a gap along here. Okay. Do you know what I didn't do? I've done all that work and you've just seen nothing. There we go. How's that? So yeah, I've got that gap all along here. And that's what didn't work on the camera. I didn't get to show you was the um, item code. Sorry guys, messed up with the kangaroo. I got the good cam camera angle and then didn't actually make sure you were seeing it. Okay. But that's what it's like when you're doing doing things live. I can't go and redo it, can I? Right. So I've got that at about the point where I want it. If I turn this upside down, I'm looking at... I could go three. I could probably go... Th oh, no. That's kind of long. Let's straighten that up. Just, I need to straighten that end up. Go away, Laura. There we go. Still need that one. Just a fraction that way. Okay. I was just trying to get that edge. So I am looking, I do need to do four there. So the next stages from this is to actually stick it down. The process of sticking it down isn't a case of all at once. When it is so big, you need to get it in place first and obviously clamp it in place. So that's where you'll hear, well you won't hear anything because I'll go silent while I'm concentrating. I'm doing now just to paint, just concentrating to paint. Uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, I will put it back, put it on the board, work out where I want it to sit. I will clamp it, and then I glue one side or half of it, and then I glue the other half. Um, that way, once I've got one side down, the other side's good to go. Cleaned up my mess. Um, what we've now, what I'm now going to do is clamp this into place. Um, 
Initially, I'm going to use the big clamps, I do believe, uh, purely to get this in. And look at that, the paint's not dry yet. But, okay, that's not far enough there. Okay, when you, I, I'm going to get this to where I think it should be. You can see me there. That's not going to hold it. I'm going to have to go with these flat ones. These ones are phenomenal, these plank keep things. Right, now, when you're manoeuvring the canvas, you are better off pushing it around. So, what I've now got, this is the way it's going to go. Now, this is a round from Diamond Shop. Not sealed. Just remember that. This is not sealed. I'm not sealing it. I don't need to. I have moved this around quite a bit. I have one colour that I need to pop, pop in there. And that's all I can see. But that one up there, so there is one, which is a seven, which I still have this, so therefore I still know what I'm, um, colour I need, which, there my eyesight is six, four, eight, but once I've got it on, there's no point filling in any gaps, I mean that's the only one that I can see. But there is no point filling that in until I get this and I'm no longer moving it around. But I was going to use these, but I'm not any longer. These can go to the side. On the bookcase. Mindy, one of these days I will do what's on your bookshelf. It's a bit scary. Alright. Now. Courtesy of Cindy B is some of these, but because of Cindy B, I went and brought these because I thought these were absolutely brilliant. Now I am only going to clasp whoops, half the canvas. Now because it's one of the things when you are framing diamond painting is always make sure you glue it. If you don't, the weight of it will cause these to drag down. If I glue just the edges, it will end up dragging down. So you actually need to glue all the way across. And I am going to end up using that and the baby wipes. But... Actually, I want to, I'm just trying to work out the best way to go with how far along I want to do the glue because I've done it before and I've ended up with a lot of, a whole lot of heartbreak. Rightio, so, there's me dropping pins. Um, just knock some drills out of place with these pegs. That's the other thing to watch with these pegs, with the clips. You want to make sure that you're putting them back in the right spot. Okay. 
but then you can also muck around with that once there, once it's all glued on. So it's as simple as look at all that black paint on the back of that. This is as easy as it as it gets. I'm going to move it one more actually, whoops, there we go, I was going to do it in thirds but I don't think I will, we'll do it in half. You don't need anything fancy and I've, Die Moon Shop have actually done a framing where they rolled the canvas around which is initially what I wanted to do with this. Um, but one of the things that they say to use is just the Elmer's glue. And it's not a, a simple process of just wiggling it on. If you... It is going around in a spiral and I sh probably shouldn't be leaning on it like that. I'm not going to. I was going to spread it. I'm not going to. So now I'm just going to roll this down on there. And where's my roller? I'm going to peg this side. I'm actually going to put two, because I know the glue didn't go all the way across, two white ones, and well white ones or clear ones, and I want to do the same on this side. Remembering that I glued up to that point. Now lift this up. You can actually see where the glue is there. Okie dokie. On there, um, I am actually going to remove these clips. I don't believe they're needed anymore. That was just while I was being a little bit rough on that side. I could have done this job while it was in the frame. Whoops, don't pull them off like that, girl. Gentle. But at the first point of doing it, I was initially looking at wrapping it around. Great, glue on my desk. Okay, so here we go. Girl by Carousel, I need to touch up some spots. I'm actually going to touch up with a Sharpie. Because it's the canvas that I'm touching up. So remember how I said I had some white bits? That's what I'm touching up there. Next bit is <coughs> getting it back on this. Okay. The 
the best way is, well, probably the simplest way is by gluing and then clamping. So I'm just going to see what that's going to look like. It's going to look stunning. Okay. So what I need to do now, it's just going to be a simple gluing it on. And do I use, no, I'll use, I'll just stick with the Elmer's glue. one is I will say it this style of painting apart from the blank custom that I'm working on which I built myself this one is my most expensive one I've brought um, so in, in, in essentially this is my second most expensive diamond painting okay and I can tell you one thing she's worth it that is beautiful look at the shine and no requirement to um, seal it. I will just touch it up in those couple of spots to put those jewels in that came out. Um, the only thing, while I'm waiting for this to set properly, because this will go and just sit flat, um, once this is all set and sealed, these three will be glued to the back. And obviously I'll get Nathan to hang this hopefully on the um, wall behind me. And let's see if I can get Bo here. Hello. Hello. Oh, not you, Bo. Hi, Bo. Let's keep an eye out. Let's see if we can get him. Bo. 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 There's Boots. Hello. This is for the dogs, not for you. Bo. Bo. Dog food, Dog. not cat food. <laughs> Bo, here, buddy. Bo, here. 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 Oh, come here. Come here and say hello to the boy. Are you going to sit? Hang on. I'm just going to try and get it so you can actually see him. Are you going to sit? Are you going to be a good boy? You are a good boy. Gentle, gentle. Don't you attach? Yeah, good boy. He is so good with his food, but he's gone off to go chew on it on the mat because he knows he's in trouble if he does a little fall. He normally doesn't get these until he's on his bed. And the cat is giving me a dirty look. Where's the cat? Please, please. He's not impressed because it's not cat food. 
<laughs> okay guys, um, hopefully you enjoyed this. Um, I love this process. I, I actually enjoyed it. I was frustrated at the beginning um, because the initial plan didn't work. But um, they still come together and keep an eye on it when you see me do um, chats where you can see my face because it's going to be fine when I get ready to put it up. So guys, thanks for watching and um, bye for now.